Hey guys, <laughs> this looks a little bit crazy. Over Christmas, we had a quite a quiet one and um, I did a lot of online plant shopping and it's sort of just come over this first week of Jan and um, yeah, I'm a little bit shocked myself. I thought I would start with a unboxing. I normally have a structure for these videos about what to talk about. Fortunately, I don't today, so maybe this will probably be just a chit chatty type of video. Also, it's pretty windy outside, so I'm gonna have to check if the audio is okay. I'm sorry if it's quite windy um, outside, but guys, let's start off with some of the packages. I, I have seven packages here at the moment, and it's a bit crazy. So let's start off with some packages. I might start off with this one more. I might start off with this one here. Package number one here. So I hope everybody's Christmas was okay. I had a quite a quiet one with just my parents and we just watched the fireworks online. Oh guys, so we've got a two key and one here. Now I can't really remember what I got, which is not great. I do I do have a record of it on my computer, but I haven't got my computer out here. So this will be a bit of a surprise for both of us as well. Firstly, we got this tube and, oh guys, okay. So this, these two are going to be my Hoya, uh, Hoya and Dishidia uh, unboxing. So this first one here, guys, you're going to be so amazed. I'm so excited. I actually forgot that I, I got one of these. But let us open the bottom because the plant is on the bottom. Okay. All right, guys. Nice. So the first plant is this one here. This is a Dishidia Vidali Kalungun Island. Now, the reason why I got it was because it reminded me a lot of the Hoya Imbricata, Imbri, Imbricata. So it's the flat, the, the Hoya that has quite flat leaves and they stick against the surface. Now, this is a Dishidia. I actually haven't come across any of these before. So it's gonna be quite an exciting exercise. This one does look like it's suffered a little bit in the post because you can see it's a little bit wet there. But these guys can be quite sensitive to cold temperatures. Um, so I'll need to read up on how to best care for him. It looks like he likes to shingle up things because he's got these roots coming out here. So I'm gonna give him a board to shingle up. But this is my first plant, guys. A Dishidia. Uh, the Dali Kelinguin Island. Let me know if you have one of these. I bought it because, you know, it's different. And I also like plants that are quite circular in their leaf shape. So this is my first plant guide. And this one, I know what this one is. I'm quite excited for this one because I've seen them around and they, I, I find it quite hard to come by these plants. And, they, and they're quite unusual looking, so I'm very excited for this one. I just noticed I was wearing a, um, a Star Wars t-shirt and I watched The Mandalorian over, over Christmas and I really enjoyed it. Alright guys, this one is... Guys, this is a Dishidia Jade Dragon. Look at this plant. Look at this plant. So weird. Do you say a Jade Dragon? Sorry, Dragon Jade. I love the little pebbles. Look how unusual that is. 
So guys, this is a Dishidia and I've got to say, the first two plants blown it out of the park in terms of unusualness. These are both Dishidias, but they're so different. Let me see if I can display them as I open them. This holiday's been quite quiet because New South Wales has recorded a couple of cases and most of the states in our country have gone into, into lockdown. Well, not lockdown, sorry. Have closed the, their borders with New South Wales. So not a lot of activity has been happening around Sydney because of these cases. Okay, guys, this is the second box. I have gloves here and I should put them on, but sometimes to handle the plants sens more sensitively, I feel like my fingers have a better gauge at how delicate something is and putting gloves on makes it hard to gauge how delicate a plant is, but oh my god guys, oh my god, oh my goodness. Let me just double check this one. Oh my gosh, guys. This one, um, sorry about my reaction, but I remember when I saw this plant on sale, I remember when I saw this plant on sale or being advertised on Facebook. And I remember when I first saw it and I was like, Jess, you've bought way too many plants as you can see. So just, Think about it before you buy another plant, please. Um, and then five hours later, I checked on that post and I saw that still nobody had commented on it. And I was just like, oh heck, let's just get it. Guys, this, this is a spaghetti eye hybrid. And can I tell you guys, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit dumbfounded. Um, mainly because I know anything that's forget the eye hybrid tends to be very expensive and I this this guy cost this guy was three hundred dollars um, it's not a cheap plant but for forget the eye hybrids I, I've seen them around for Sometimes I've seen them around the six hundred dollar mark and so when I first saw this one I was like I was just surprised that nobody had, had jumped on it and I was a little bit nervous um, getting one because one when, when you buy stuff online you want to just be super cautious who you're buying from so make sure you buy from reputable buyers and this one I did take a little bit of a gamble not because the sale is not reputable but I you know things like I haven't seen them post a plant up for sale before you check on their profiles to see if they've sold anything before so this spaghetti eye hybrid does have the closed sinuses and the sinuses are sort of the lobes in here. Normally you have some of these ethereums, these velvet ethereums have lobes that are open so there's a gap here but these are a closed sinus. So the gap being the sinus there. And it, guys this is my spaghetti eye hybrid. Uh, I am. Um, I just can't believe I've got one. Um, he's so beautiful. And he's got some little new furry little roots coming out, which is exciting. It's going to be such a beautiful plant. So, guys, this is the third plant I got in this insane plant wall. So pleased with him. He's so pretty. It's quite dark as well. I'm gonna just pop in here. I did get into trouble the other day. My dad was, he looked at all these packages arriving at the same time and he was saying, we spent almost $100 in postage. Anyway, all right guys, I've got this one here. I hope everyone's new year's off to a good start. I actually feel quite positive about this year. I know I said that about 2020 at the beginning. I'm feeling a bit optimistic about this year. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so this one's a big one. 
This one's a whole plant. And just, 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 just. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know about everyone, but I definitely in 2020, I did spend a lot more on plants and I didn't really go out much um, during 2020. I probably went out about, and in terms of going out, I'm going out to restaurants with friends and family. I would say I probably went out less than 30 times and that's because my dad um, my dad's uh, immunocompromised so I spent a lot of time at home and because of that I sort of told myself it was okay to buy a lot of plants because <laughs> I wasn't spending money on anything else all right guys would you look at this so guys this is a Syngonia mojito. This is an entire plant, it's not a cutting. Ooh, look at this leaf, guys. It's so speckled and mottled. This is a beautiful big specimen. This is my the fourth plant that I got. I'm very pleased with him. He's a beautiful look at the look at the variegation on him. It's insane. And I do love a mojito. They're so refreshing. So guys, this is my Syngonia mojito. Plant number four on Jess's, uh, Jess's, Jess's plant purchasing adventures. Okay. All right, guys. I've got three more packages to open. I also got a new job at the end of 2020, um, which I'm starting in Feb. I'm quite, I think I'm quite excited for it. Uh, I wasn't expecting I'm getting a new job actually. I was quite enjoying my time at my now previous job. But I guess one of the things that made me move was just a sense of, you know, wanting to challenge myself a bit more. Because I felt my, in my current old job, it, everything was great and but in terms of just giving myself that challenge, I, I found myself sometimes being a little bit too comfortable in the role. So I guess this new job should give me something different to look forward to, a new challenge, which is always good. One thing I want to do in 2020 is just being, uh, 2021 actually, being a little bit more comfortable with change, knowing that change and uncertainty is just something to, it's just part of the process and journey. Um, so that's something I do want to work on and I guess getting the new job I'm probably going to you know I'm probably going to feel like I'm not going to find my feet in the first couple of months and that that's actually okay so I better remember that let's bring us back to the present and okay now I don't really know okay I don't really know the two plants here from memory. Oh, it's coming back now because I can see them. But, ooh. Okay. Alright. So, guys. Two anthuriums. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm going to have trouble remembering these anthuriums. But, one of them is a Mexican giant. I forget the scientific name, so I insert it here, somewhere here. And then one of them is the Pedro Pedro Anthurium Pedrorum. It's got these fingered leaves, which I believe it's this one. So I've got to say the packaging from all these sellers have been amazing. And what I might do is I might because I buy most of my plants from Facebook Marketplace. So I will put in the, I guess the names of the sellers down below. I hope that's appropriate. I think it's appropriate because everybody here has been really good. So I guess if you guys are uh, Australia based, 
and you, you find yourself on some of the plant buy, buying and selling pages, keep an eye out for the plants being sold by these people because they're often amazing specimens. So guys, this is the Anthurium uh, Peta, sorry, plant, I'll put the proper name below. He's a wee little seedling. I'll put him here first. Obviously I'm going to unpot them properly and put them in soil. And guys, this is the Mexican It doesn't look like a giant now, but one day he's going to be a big giant. Alrighty. So guys, this is my Mexican giant. Again, not very gianty right now, but I will put in a photo of when he becomes a lot bigger. So this is plant, I think, Six. Yeah, plant number six. Oh dear. I really, this is, guys, I gotta say, this is, um, this is not normal behavior. And it's definitely not behavior that I should be carrying on into 2021. Ah, uh, I mean, they're just plants. Let us see what is in this huge package. My goodness me. Sorry guys. I had to, I actually ran out of space on my um, car just then. So I had to go in and, and move all the files I had into a new, um, onto my laptop. So I realized then this is probably a very long video. So I'm sorry about that. I'll speed it up a lot quicker, but um, guys, Two more plants left. This is one of them. I'm... Oh. Guys, can you... I don't know if you can see it properly. I'll probably take them out. Um, but, my goodness. I feel like I'm in a bit of disbelief as well. Like, guys, this was a... It's an Anthurium crystallinium hybrid and I think the hybrid hybrid um, plant is unknown what really attracted me to it to, to this plant is you will see soon guys but it's the size and it's quite anthuriums is actually ethereum are a plant that um, is a species I'm new to caring for um, and having in my I guess collection. I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit like a fraud when I say collection because, you know, I'm still a novice plant, um, a, a plant uh, owner, um, and even then I don't like the word plant owner, but maybe a plant appreciator. So, all I know is I, I do really love and appreciate plants. I do in, 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 enjoy taking care of them. Uh, but guys, just. Look at the size of this plant. Oh my goodness. Isn't this a beautiful plant? And anthuriums, guys. Anthuriums are all the rage in Australia right now, as I'm sure you know, across, uh, I think for most of, um, most of the world as well. And I think anthurium this size is is quite hard to, not hard to come by. They don't come by often. It's not the biggest size I've, it, uh, I've seen, um, but definitely for, I guess, the price of this plant. I paid 140 for this plant uh, of this size, and I know plants of this size can go a little bit higher. I think around the 240 mark is probably how much I've seen being sold for a, at least a crystallinium hybrid this size. So when I, when I saw this, being advertised, I I thought I I thought I'd take a chance and buy or, and get it, and I'm very impressed with this plant. I just I can't believe it. Actually, I think this is as big as my other crystallinium 
Hang on, give me a sec. I'm going to show you my, my, I've got a pure crystallonium. Give me a sec. There you go. This is my pure crystallonium. Um, this is its biggest leaf. And when I compare it to this leaf, do look a little bit, I mean, it's very similar. This is a bit darker and a lot longer. Whereas this one's a bit more round, rounder. Um, he's a bit scrappy because I keep him outside. It's just got a few holes in him. But this is a pure crystallanium and this is a crystallanium hybrid. Again, I'm not sure about the, the other bit of this plant, but I thought I'd just show you guys where I go real quick because I had this one just sitting on my shelf over there, but I'll put them down. All right, guys, so we're up to plant number seven. And I've got one more plant parcel to open. So let us do that now. I'll put him here. You know, my parents are not impressed by this. They're definitely not impressed. Okay, guys, all right, the last plant. I know exactly what this one is. The seller has said open from this side. This is where the root ball is, so let's do that there. Now, the next challenge is me trying to find pots and potting medium for these plants because I've run out of, run out of a lot of potting medium. Okay. Nothing there. I should wear gloves now because I can see there's a little bit of dirt on sphagnum. So you just want to always wear gloves. I always say to wear gloves because it's you just want to protect yourself from any dirty things. That come up. Oh, protect yourself from any bacteria that comes with, with the plant and the dirt. So always do that, guys. Oh, sorry. All right, guys, this is, this is huge. Now this is, oh, I, might as, I think I should take, take off these, the wrappings on this leaves. Now, I don't know how he, a bit trouble. Okay, so he's a little bit squishy. Now, this, guys, is an alocasia so they've got these amazing uh, I guess the squiggly leaves and I, I guess I bought an established I mean I did buy an established plant it's quite big and this is his root now I can see there can be a little bit dry and it's actually the oh no I like it's the second time I've bought an alocasia in the in plant mail before don't know how well they travel. Um, so I'm gonna pop this guy up real quick. But he's got these amazing. Ah, I actually really like alocasias, but the only thing I have about them is they go dormant over winter and I keep all my plants outside. So they do die off over the winter. But I really don't want this plant to die off because he looks like an incredible specimen. He's big. And I paid a lot of money for him. <laughs> uh, there he is. All right, guys. So that concludes my incredibly insane uh, plant unboxing. I'm in disbelief myself at the amount of plants I bought. I will be more, I will show a lot more straight restraint in the coming weeks and not go so overboard. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was a little bit long and rambly and disorganized. I promise. Um, there's going to be a lot more structure to this channel. It's a New Year's resolution I made for myself that I invest a lot more time into my um, into my channel, and hopefully with the new job it does give me some more time as well. So I'm excited for this. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy New Year! I hope everyone is well. Um, but I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.